I had a question on YouTube today about how to introduce a puppy to the older dog in the same house. And I'm gonna to get to that in a minute. This is my new office, as you can probably tell, it's a different place. Um, I'm gonna show you some pictures of the outside of it and some of the fun stuff that we've done um, around this office as private sessions for private sessions and such. Um, I am trying to spice it up behind me. It's pretty boring, I don't love it. Um, so if you have any ideas about what I can do, please let me know. All right, so here's the question from Gamma. Do you still use the same training when bringing home a nine week old puppy? I've been searching everywhere and the most common I see is letting the older dog set boundaries with dominant behavior because it's the most natural way. They always say, let them sort it out. I am, not interest I am interested more in how you train your dogs and I was wondering if you train differently in such situations. I've been in a lot of homes where people bring home a puppy and either puppy's terrorizing the older dog or they think the older dog is being too mean to the puppy. So I'm gonna answer that today, but here's our, my personal situation. You guys have probably seen videos of Bosco, the red doby. As he got older from a business decision, I probably should have gotten a puppy while he was still alive so that I could have a dog ready for when he passed on. However, I knew Bosco didn't want a puppy in the house in his older years. And so we chose not to do that because we wanted him to just live out his older years with us as being the only dog in the house. And it was the right call for sure. So keep that in mind when you're deciding about whether to get a puppy or not. Now to the question of how do I raise my dogs bringing a puppy into the house? Here's what you should do, okay? Understand that it's gonna be, it's hard on the older dog. Sometimes it brings life to the older dog. More times than not, the older dog is super annoyed with the puppy, all right? So you've got to, generally speaking, if the older dog is not going to defend himself and let the puppy know that they can't do that, you need to back the older dog up. And what I mean by that, puppy nips, maybe the older dog yelps, or maybe the older dog looks uncomfortable. You need to, you've seen, seen me say it a hundred times, mark and punish. With the puppy, you gotta go, hey, get up, Grab the puppy, lure, take him away, okay? Or maybe redirect him with a rope toy. Do something, but you gotta mark the behavior, that's wrong, right? When you bit the ear, that's wrong, and then here's your consequence, okay? You gotta start, you gotta back up that older dog. Don't let that puppy accost the older dog, all right? Then eventually, you're just gonna have to go, hey! And the puppy's gonna go, okay, sorry, I know what's gonna happen. You're gonna take me away, or move me, or redirect me, and I'll just do it myself, right? You gotta give dog a lot of chew toys, puppy a lot of chew toys, or the older dog is gonna be their chew toy. All right, back the older dog up. If the older dog's not gonna do anything, I give the older dogs a lot of leeway to do a lot with that puppy, all right? It is not the worst thing in the world if that, imagine those little puppies, imagine you have a 20 pound little dog and you bring home an eight week old golden retriever. By the time that golden retriever is four months old, that guy's 35 pounds He's still got those needle teeth and he is jumping and attacking that older dog. Okay, I put that in quotes because he's not attacking. He's being a crazy puppy. It's not okay to that older dog. Let that older dog do what that older dog needs to do. Obviously, we're not talking about a dog attacking a puppy. That is never acceptable. But let him, if, if he gives the, if the puppy jumps on him, he gives him a nip, puppy goes, rawr, rawr, runs away. Probably the best thing for that puppy. I remember, Bosco is probably a year old, and we had a board and train here, and Bosco loved dogs, but he also thought that dogs were like, he could just go jump on them. So he runs out, it was right up there, he runs out, and he just jumps, fun, having fun, jumps on this dog, just like, let's play, jumps on him. That dog nailed him, bit him in the shoulder, not puncture, Bosco went rrr, 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 and ran away, and I was like, oh my gosh, is he okay? Best thing for Bosco. Now, did Bosco stop jumping on dogs? No, but maybe Bosco is 20% less after that day to say, oh, I can't just run up and launch myself at dogs because they might get mad at me. I think he was a little chiller that day about just launching himself at dogs and just jumping on them like let's play. Best thing for that dog. So let your older dog do what your older dog, nine times out of 10, let the dog do what he thinks he needs to do. Don't manage it so much like, oh, 
bad older dog, right? He's the one who lived in that home for 10 years by himself with the people he loves. Now we're bringing a puppy in there, okay? Which is fine. Do what you need to do in your life. It's fine. But back up that older dog, okay? Do puppies are nuts. Four-month-old puppies are out of their minds. They have to mouth everything and they have sharp little teeth. And not all dogs want to deal with that. Okay, if you have a three-year-old dog, that three-year-old and a puppy, that's totally different. If you have a five-year-old, that's totally different. Ten-year-old dog might have pains. He doesn't want to deal with that all the time. So back him up. Give your puppy a lot of chew toys. By toys, I mean bully sticks, marrow bones, and food-filled frozen Kongs. Those are the safest, reinforcing, most long-lasting. That puppy's got to be working those jaws all the time so he's not working it on the older dog. And exercise. Because the jumping on him is due to... Jumping on the older dog is to get their mouthiness out and to get their exercise out. So you have to provide it so they're not all over that older dog. So that's the video, bringing home a puppy to an older dog, how to manage it, who to back up, when to redirect, all that good stuff. So remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll keep making these videos.